Restorex is the next generation penile traction therapy device developed by Pathright Medical in cooperation with Mayo Clinic. It is easy to use in three simple steps. Secure, extend, and rotate. Before starting, take a moment to familiarize yourself with Restorex. The pelvic ring comfortably fits against the body and holds the extension rods. Later, you will learn how to select the correct length extension rod and how to place them on the pelvic ring to treat the direction of your curve. The rotation buttons located on either side of the device are pushed simultaneously to rotate Restorex, providing opposite angular force to correct the curvature. The functional buttons are colored blue and are used to secure the clamp, release the extension rods, or rotate Restorex for opposite angular force. The spring-loaded tension rods provide the resistance to achieve traction. The white band on each tension rod tells you when you have achieved the minimum tension level. The clamp arms are used to adjust Restorex for the distance from the tip of your penis to the Peroni's curvature. Let's complete the one-time setup of the Restorex device. To do so, you need to obtain three anatomical measurements. Stretched penile length, direction of curvature, distance to curvature. First, choose the appropriate extension rods based on your stretched penile length. Ensure that the ruler measures the full length of your flaccid penis by pushing the end of the ruler into the fat pad located at the base of the penis. The Restorex device comes with the standard rods assembled, and for penile lengths greater than 6.25 inches or 16 centimeters, the extended rods are in the Restorex box. Next, place the extension rods on the pelvic ring based on the direction of curvature. For example, the Restorex device comes assembled to accommodate an upward curve, so the opposite force is in the down direction. In other words, if you have a curvature to the right, unscrew and reattach the two rods to the left side of the pelvic ring, as shown. Finally, adjust the location of the clamp housing on the clamp arm based on the distance from the tip of your penis to the middle of the curvature, as shown. To move the clamp housing to position two or three, gently remove the screws, slide the housing along the clamp arm and insert and tighten the screws. Do not over tighten. It is recommended to use the enclosed self-adherent wrap to improve comfort. Wrap the penis two to three times as shown. Do not over tighten, however. If worn too tightly, it can restrict blood flow to the penis. Now, to complete the setup, Push the clamp release tab and remove the clamp from the housing. After opening, place your wrapped penis in it as shown. If you cannot close the clamp or with it closed, you do not believe you can comfortably wear it for 30 minutes, adjust the height as shown. Let's use Restorex. Begin with Restorex pulled all the way back toward the pelvic ring on both the extension rods and tension rods. Place your penis through the pelvic ring and onto the open clamp. Slowly and gently close the clamp. Continue to close until it is tight enough to be secure, but at the same time can be worn comfortably for 30 minutes. Second, as shown, pull Restorex back on the tension rods to release the lock and then slowly and gently release the springs. Next, while holding the pelvic ring against your body with one hand, lengthen Restorex by pushing it along the extension rods one notch at a time until the white bands on each tension rod can no longer be seen. Many men have found a second method of extending and adding tension to be easier, particularly those that have difficulty with the head of their penis slipping out of the clamp. First, advance the Restorex device along the extension rods until the penis is nearly fully stretched. Next, slowly and carefully release the tension rods as shown. Most often, the white bands will not appear. If they do, relock the tension rods, advance one more notch on the extension rods, and release the lock on the tension rods once again. Repeat until the white bands do not show. After a couple of minutes, tissue will begin to stretch and the treatment zone band may reappear. If so, advance one or more notches on the extension rod to stay in the traction zone. If you can comfortably tolerate more traction, continue advancing. After 15 minutes of treatment, take the tension off the device. Push both rotation buttons simultaneously to rotate Restorex in the opposite direction of your curvature, and then retension by slowly and gently releasing the springs. 
Advance one or more notches on the extension rod to stay in the traction zone. Restorix includes four stops for opposite angular force. It may take some time to get comfortable enough to achieve the recommended third or fourth stop. Do what is possible at first and work your way up. Many men have found that wrapping the shaft of the penis with tissue or gauze allows for the penile skin to slide on Restorex, making it easier and more comfortable to achieve the third stop. The following chart contains the recommended treatment times for Restorex. Start slowly during the first week of use, working your way up to two 30-minute treatments per day. At the end of the treatment time, simply open the clamp, remove Restorex, and remove the self-adherent wrap if used. Remember to always store with the springs untensioned. Read the instructions completely prior to use and use only as directed.